Hello, welcome to Hungara Ring. Today is Thursday, I think. I lost track of days. It's been that long since we were last in the workshop. Uh, today is like uh, sorting all the small stuff out from uh, Harama. And then, so we've got a few development things that we want to change because obviously this year is so crazy. We, we really want to iron out all the small problems so next year we can really push on. So Tom's just changing the steering box at the minute. Also in Harama, we killed the anti-roll bar blade. Uh, and this has always fit into the back of the truck. Uh, and it obviously does what it, it explains. It takes the, the roll out of the, the chassis. Um, so the, the sort of problem we had in, in Harama was um, we got them surface hardened, but the, the hardening process maybe wasn't correct or there was a, a discrepancy with the material, so they actually broke. So luckily for us, we work very closely with PE. A lot of people just think that it's a sponsor and that's it, but our relationship with PE, it's very much a technical one as well. So if we want to develop parts on, from a serial side, then they will help us, but also with these, uh, uh, shall I say, specialist parts, if we, if we can find a solution uh, with cost effectiveness, then PE will actually uh, help us to achieve the goals. So this is the, the one we produced in Spain by a friend of Antonio. This was like a get us out of trouble one. Uh, and then you'll see, if I get the, the new one, you'll see exactly the sort of design and the complete difference of the, the two parts. And I can explain quickly how it works. So it's like a blade rather than just a, a, a tube. So this only has two settings on or off so there's no other setting whereas this one the, the 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 idea behind it is when it's fixed like this it's very strong but when you the more you turn it to the side the more flexibility you have so it's a little bit like with your hand so like this it's very easy to to, to bend it but like this it's more difficult so this is how we get the the setup changes through the anti-roll bar with this blade technology uh, so we got them to fit today. Um, Trying to think what else. So yeah, like you see, I fitted one already. So just to make sure that it's all good and works well. So it looks, from my side, looks good. Uh, we've changed a little bit with the material as well. So it was also a suggestion from uh, Christian Salton at PE um, that we try this material. Uh, as opposed to the old material we had, so he's uh, more confident with this material. But we'll see after, at least after tomorrow, and if not after Sunday. So tomorrow is Friday. We've got uh, two warm-ups, and then the the racing will start on Saturday. So then Saturday is one more warm-up, qualifying, Super Bowl. Hopefully, should be able to get into Super Bowl, and then two races, and same again on Sunday. So. It's uh, quite an extreme weekend with truck racing all, all the time, so yeah, nothing changes. The workload's still extreme, and yeah, everything's still heavy. So, um, I think what else? I think that's it. Go through a few other things because it's uh, it was over a week since we were racing last, so we'll just make sure that we've controlled everything and got everything ready and. We'll probably do another video when they're fitted and then you can see how they work and how we can change them quickly. Last few weeks we've been in Italy and Spain traveling here, it's been lovely and warm. And we got to Slovenian border and the temperature just dropped. So I think last night it was three degrees in the evening. So yeah, luckily the, the the trailer having the underfloor heating came into its own so which is the always helps yeah, and now you can see how it's fitted to the truck obviously this is fixed to the chassis 
then these drop links go down to the axle because obviously the axle moves independently to the to the chassis and then to change it you just literally it tight you just turn them and then that's uh, more harder and then that's maximum hard so yeah nice and simple to change um, so I just need to I think now just find out uh, or figure out a solution to to lock it off so they don't twist should be fully good uh, I know that a lot of people think uh, it's because PE supporters is the reason why we, we can sort of tell them what parts we need but we also do it for for the standard polia so if you need a specialist tool or a specialist part that no one else is producing you can actually submit that to your local um, uh, parts uh, sort of suppliers so in England it's FPMS EMS so and if you say yeah this part would be uh, very important for us if we could get it then they would then forward that on to the guys at PE and then they would see if it's uh, viable to start producing it so from that side it, it's not this isn't so uh, a specialist reason why they did it okay they're not going to sell millions of these so they're, they're only obviously only going to sell them to us so from that side it's not the biggest market for them but it's uh, nice that they can supply them to us and yeah, it makes our life a lot easier that, that we're not because obviously we're on the road now since august so we don't have the, the, the capabilities to machine these while we're on the road. So from this side, we can send a drawing to P. They'll then uh, send it to the to the fabrication. And then, yeah, they made them up, I think, within seven days, they had these parts ready to go. So, yeah, it was, uh, and then they shipped them to the BPW aftermarket group in Hungary, which is TT parts. And then um, they actually brought them to the circuit last night um, at eight o'clock at night. So it was a really nice uh, service that they, they even offered to do that for us. So yeah, it's quite nice. So yeah, hopefully we'll be fast and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a look earliest tomorrow. But I think Saturday we can have a we can um, come back and I'll explain how they're getting on and what what we think if we need to change them at all or, or if we're, we're happy with them so yeah, we'll see you then. Okay. So we've just done uh, FP1 and FP2, it's 4, oh, 4.30, as you can see by the hat it's horrendously cold here so uh, yeah, we've been testing the anti-roll bar blades all day, uh, we started off soft soft uh, because it was uh, quite damp on the circuit, it started to dry out but only for the last three or four laps so uh, for the last uh, two laps we went hard hard just to make sure that they can take the stresses of strain stresses and strains of all the movements from the, 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 the circuit from the truck uh, and the power from the engine so they seem to be performing very well we hopefully can keep the speed for the next uh, Saturday Sunday uh, and we are the closest we've been to the front runners uh, so far this season so we're, we're very happy with the development of the truck so yeah, we hope we have a good weekend and 